So hello, I hope you're doing well today. And this is part two of a Q&A about the CAP Gold Atmospheric Plasma Treatment for TSW. So over the last couple of weeks, um, I've received many new questions and very good questions. So I decided to do a part two um, because I think this is the answers to the questions is beneficial for a lot of people. So um, I will probably also make a part three, which is more about practical questions for your time and your travel to Thailand. But this part is more questions about the treatment itself. Uh, after these Q and A's for the cap treatment, uh, this channel is mostly dedicated to understanding TSW and the science behind TSW. So let's get started. So the first question I got is, when can I start the CAP treatment? So the clinic in the UK, the Skin Solace Clinic, accepts people after six months into DSW journey. The clinic in Thailand accepts people after the first three months of TSW have passed. In some cases, people are able to come sooner than that, but this is really case dependent. And you have to be in connection and communication with the clinic about your case and if it's possible to come a bit sooner. Uh, now you have to understand in TSW that when you stop topical steroid creams, you will get worse and worse and worse in the beginning. Now you should be able to reach the lowest point between four and eight weeks into your topical steroid withdrawal journey. But this is also dependent on the circumstances of where you live and how your healing rate is going. So if you can uh, avoid stress and have a lot of sleep, if there are no irritants and allergens in your house, all these things that help with a good healing rate. So to get more information on that, you can watch the video on the phases of topical steroid withdrawal and triggers that delay the healing rate of topical steroid withdrawal on this channel to get a better idea. The second question is, uh, does the treatment also cure the underlying rash? And sadly, the answer is no. So the underlying rash and TSW are two different diseases or conditions, and they have both a different mechanism. So TSW is caused by prolonged use of topical steroid creams, and one of the actions of the topical steroid creams is that they lower the, pro the cell proliferation rate. And because of this, your skin is getting thinner and thinner over time. Now, the underlying rash has a different root cause. And this is very case dependent. This is very different for everybody. Now, some people started with a rash because they had a contact allergy to something. Maybe they were working in a hair saloon or in a factory with chemicals and they started using topical steroid creams. And maybe, maybe they have changed jobs or are not in contact with the chemical anymore. So after they have passed their topical steroid withdrawal, their skin will be completely fine, 100% cured, and there's no rash left. For other people, the root cause is very different and it can take quite some time to investigate what is your root cause. In some cases, you won't be able to find a root cause, but in that case, you can still learn about the triggers that aggravate your condition, such as stress or not enough sleep or your menses or drinking alcohol. And by avoiding those triggers, you can usually keep the rash um, acceptable and have a normal life. Then the third question is, can I do the treatment while doing NMT? So yes, you can. Uh, NMT stands for No Moisturized Treatment. It's a protocol um, that is being applied by Dr. Sato in his clinic in Japan. And it involves that you avoid showering uh, to a minimum. You restrict your water intake. You do exercise about one hour a day. And you sleep between the hours of 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. Um, so it's a whole protocol that is especially very effective for people that have a lot of oozing as one of their symptoms. And um, 
Many people are using this protocol to fasten their healing rate. And what is good to say that it's best to do this under medical uh, supervision, like Dr. Sato does it in his hospital. Now in NMT, you don't put anything on your skin, so no moisturizers. Now the treatment, the cap treatment, goes hand in hand with a serum. And the serum does speed up your healing rate. The biggest effect of the treatment is the cold atmospheric plasma. This is what stimulates the skin cell proliferation rate and makes the skin thicken much faster. The serum does help your recovery rate as well because it's designed in this way that skin cells will be kept alive longer, so also hep will help in thickening the skin. But it's not obligated to use this serum, so you can do the treatment also when you're on an MT. Now it is important that you shower um, because this will lower the risk of infection. You basically wash off any pathogens, you rinse it off with water from your skin so it lowers the rate of infections. In some conditions, skin conditions, the serum is very important though. So if you have a case of hardened skin or elephant skin, then a big part of the healing is because of using this serum. So then it's highly, highly recommended to do use it. Then the fourth question is, does the serum heal TSW? So the answer is no. The treatment, the cold atmospheric plasma, is the one who really has the action uh, and makes your skin thicken much faster. Now, I did see a couple of cases where the serum was amazingly effective, but this was for people that were or light cases of TSW, or they were already very much into their journey and on the last bit, and the serum gave them this really this extra push in the right direction, and they had fantastic results with the serum. But the cold atmospheric plasma device is the biggest action of the treatment. Then the fifth question, can my baby or child receive the cap treatment? Uh, sadly, this is not possible. Um, here in the clinic in Thailand, they have a lot of experience over 15 years with the treatment and the success rate on young children and babies is very low. And there are two reasons. For young children and babies, it's very difficult to lay still during the treatment. But the biggest problem is that they cannot control scratching. So as you have learned in the previous video, 48 hours until 48 hours after the treatment, your skin is extra sensitive and extra itchy. So adults can understand this and control their scratching. But if children keep scratching and scratching too deep and too hard, the skin just cannot heal, even with the treatment. And then the success rate is a lot lower. So here on this picture, you can see the vicious cycle of itchiness and scratching. And then the skin has all the time put all its energy and priority in closing the little wounds and fighting off the pathogens. And it cannot go to the proliferation state of the skin and the remodeling state of the skin. Then, uh, the sixth question, how did the doctor in Thailand find out about TSW 15 years ago? So, this is a bit a similar story as the one of Dr. Rappaport. So, he found out about TSW by coincidence. Dr. Rappaport was asked to investigate cases of photosensitivity. So this means that people were not ab able to handle the sun anymore and they would have a sunburn within a minute. So when he started investigating these cases, he found out that they all had a history of topical steroid use and, and strong topical steroids. Now here in Thailand, the doctor who developed the cap device was before he started with this device, he was developing a laser devices for the aesthetic industry. But they found out that if people did a lot of laser treatments, they had also the problem with thin, with that the skin was getting thinner and thinner. So they also developed photosensitivity. So the doctor wanted to develop a device to reverse this process. So then he became very interested in cold atmospheric plasma or 
uh, people to reverse their thin thin skin and also for people with chronic wound problems because the cold plasma is also very effective in helping to heal chronic wounds. So they started treating patients and in some clinics where they do laser treatment, they combine the treatment with steroids. And this is to give an extra smooth and nice effect to the skin. And then when they start treating those patients, they saw that the skin reacted very differently from the patients who never had topical steroids on their face. And then they found out that topical steroid creams did have an effect on the skin. And then the first patient came with topical steroid withdrawal, and then a second, and then a third. And here it went really from word to mouth uh, to spread that this treatment was working very well. So this is how they found out about topical steroid withdrawal. Then, um, how did you find out about the clinic in Thailand? Now, this is a nice question. <laughs> um, so it took me some research. I saw the name of Dr. Chan Chai on the website of the Skin Solace Clinic in the UK. So I started Googling him and I found a little clip on YouTube uh, where he was uh, being interviewed on a Thai news channel. And then I found out he worked in the international hospital here in Thailand. So I emailed the hospital. Now, Dr. Chan Chai is already with retirement. So the hospital got my email and they forwarded it to Dr. Chan Chai. And he found the email two months later and then sent my email to the clinic. And Jay answered me very quickly. <laughs> so after some research and some waiting, I found out that the Thai clinic was still here and was still operating and that people could come. So that by the time I came to Thailand, at that point, I was one of the few international patients. I think it was me and another girl that were here. Um, but I found a gem, a clinic that was in operation with uh, more friendly pricing and with a clinic with incredible knowledge and expertise on TSW. So I decided to start posting on social media because I think this can be very beneficial for many people. And now, luckily, more people start coming and we have a really nice international community here now in Thailand. And then the last question, um, can I flare again after I finish the treatment? So here I could have used the two words after I finish the treatment or after I stop the treatment. So if you finish a whole treatment plan, then no, then your TSW is over and healed and um, there are no symptoms coming back. Now a whole treatment plan uh, involves certain amount of time of treatments once a week. Um, so in my case, it's four months of treatment every week. And then you go, can go to maintenance sessions. So the, the time between each treatment can be longer and longer and longer every time. Um, if you stop, because for not for everybody it's, is able to do the maintenance sessions. So if you have treatment once a week and you're not able to do the maintenance sessions and then you stop the treatment, then the, skill, the skin cell proliferation rate will go down again and also the skin quality, but you will never go down to the place where you were. So there will always be an effect of the treatment and it's very case dependent where you will pick up your original healing rate again. Some people come here for a couple of months and then they can't do maintenance sessions and they come back, for example, half a year later and do another couple of months. So. The most ideal is do a whole full treatment plan, but this is possible as well. So to make this a little bit more clear, I can show you a graphic. Yeah, so let's have a look at this graph for the people who watched the video on faces of topical steroid withdrawal. Already know this graph. For the other people, I advise you to watch that uh, video for a complete and full uh, explanation on what you see on the graph. Um, in a very fast way, this is phase number zero, the onset of topical steroid withdrawal. Here somebody starts with their uh, topical st steroid withdrawal healing journey. In phase one, you just get worse, 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 worse until people hit the deepest point. 
and this should be possible within four to eight weeks time, then a lot of time there is a uh, quite significant recovery of about a month and then you start these, this healing line. Dark line, the black line is the healing rate without treatment. Going to phase one, phase two, uh, phase two, phase three, phase four, and phase five. So these phases are all explained in the video of phases of topical steroid withdrawal. The purple line is um, when you receive treatment and uh, with every treatment, the skin cell proliferation rate jumps up. So the skin cells get a stimuli from the cold plasma and the skin cell proliferation rate jumps up and it jumps up and it jumps up and it jumps up. So this is what the purple line is, the skin cell proliferation rate. Um, and this actually looks, what I drawn here is a average uh, treatment plan with a cap called plasma treatment for TSW. The blue line is the skin quality or the skin thickness. So on average, between eight and 16 sessions, the skin is back to the normal skin cell proliferation rate. The skin cell proliferation rate after eight to um, between eight and 16 sessions with the cup treatment is back to 100%. The skin thickness is going slower. As you can imagine, um, maybe your skin thickness is 60%. Uh, the skin cell proliferation rate goes up. Uh, the skin thickness is going up as well, but slower. And at a certain point, it goes quicker, quicker, quicker. So at the point where um, you have 100% skin cell proliferation rate, again, that's here. At that point, the skin can thicken with an average of 10% per month. So let's say your skin thickness here went up a little bit, it's already 65%, and then 10% of 65 is uh, 6.5. So um, you will be then at um, 71 and a half thickness within a month, and so on, and so on, and so on. So once you reach the 100% uh, proliferation rate, um, the treatments go continue, continue, but the time in between the treatments can be longer and longer and longer. And the skin quality also goes at the same rate as the skin cell, cell proliferation rate. And at a certain point, your skin cells uh, are stimulated enough times that they pick up the signal and they work in a healthy way as before. Um, so the black line here is the healing rate without treatment. And the timeline of these two lines and this black line, uh, it would not fit in the diagram if I would draw this, how it actually looks like. So it goes like this, and I, I would have need to have a lot more paper to draw the healing rate without treatment in most cases. Yeah, because there are also light cases of topical steroid withdrawal and they can heal within one or two years, uh, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit longer. And then the middle severe cases are two years and up. So somewhere between two years and five years of healing time. But there are also very severe cases of TSW and it will be five years plus. So here you can see what happens when you stop the treatment before finishing the whole treatment plan, including the maintenance sessions. You can see that the purple line of the skin cell proliferation rate will go down, as well as the blue line representing the screen skin quality. But they will never go down to the same point where you were before. So the treatment always has an effect. If symptoms of the skin will come back is very individual and case dependent. This depends on your history of use of topical steroid creams, the severity of your TSW, how long you were in TSW already before starting the treatment, how many sessions you were able to do, and so on. It is also possible that the skin quality goes down, but you do not have many symptoms of the skin left, but that your skin will be still very sensitive and can flare easily. So when you stop the treatment before finishing the whole treatment plan, it is very important to take good care of yourself after you come home. So make sure to avoid triggers that make you flare. 
To understand this, please watch the video on triggers that delay the healing rate of topical steroid withdrawal. Some people are able to take the CAP treatment for some period of time, but then they have to go home for work. But then later on, they can come back for another period of time. It's not ideal, but this is possible as well. So these were all the practical questions. I hope this was helpful for you. And so if you would like to get in touch with the clinic in Thailand, you can reach me via my Instagram. You can find the link in the description of this video. It's the preferred channel uh, for me to uh, send me a private message. Uh, the Instagram is completely de dedicated to TSW, so can you can follow my journey there and also that of other people. Um, you can also reach me via Facebook. I included my personal Facebook account. This one is not dedicated to TSW, so you can't find any information there, but you can not reach me via Facebook Messenger. Uh, so thank you for watching, and if you're willing and if you can support this channel, I would be really grateful. And you can also read in the description of this video how you can do that. Bye-bye, take care.